Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to declick the manual aperturing of an older Nikon lens, which is great if you're doing documentary or live event work and you need smooth transitions between exposures if you're changing your aperture on the fly. Uh, it's really simple and just takes a few minutes. So this is a Nikon 50 1.8 I picked up for $45. Uh, it has the hard aperture stops as you can see and it still has the manual aperture ring. Alright, so first we need to remove the bayonet mount. It's held on by three screws here. You're going to need a, a pretty fine-tipped Phillips head so you don't round off any of the screws or, or damage any of them. All right, with the bayonet removed, uh, you can remove the aperture setting ring, and you'll see these little notches here. And what those do is those capture this little metal strip. And the little metal strip in that little nipple divot thing fits in to those grooves and creates the hard stops. Now, to make it smooth, all you got to do is rip out that little metal strip. Since this is a cheaper E-series lens, it doesn't have screws to hold it in. Nicer AI and AIS lenses, you can actually take it out and put it back in if you like. All right, now you'll notice when we put the ring back, bam, look at that. The only problem now is it's a little too loose. There's almost no resistance. So I'm going to add a little bit of electrical tape along here to create some friction in there. Take a little snippy snip here. Don't need much. And then apply like so just along the side. And there we go, that's uh, it's pretty smooth. Now, before you put everything back together, the only thing that really interfaced between this ring and the lens is this metal bracket here needs to go over this, it's hard to see, over that metal bracket. Uh, make sure this bracket, this kind of pin pin piece goes back into that slot there. And there's a little hole in the slot there it needs to fit into. So like so the screws back and there you have it smooth aperture control and just as a comparison here's the Canon 518 